Hey, what's up, Star Wars fans from a galaxy far, far away, and welcome back to another episode of Seek at Night, where we are finally opening our hobby box for Star Wars Unlimited Spark of Rebellion. These retail for $99, which is a great price for cards, because like I said, my only comparison really is the Moon Knight cards we opened recently, which they were $120 a box, where these are $100. And in the Moon Knight cards, you got obviously chance at autographs and other things, so I get the value definitely, but you got 15 cards, or 15 packs in a box and six cards per pack. So about 90 cards a pack. Whereas this comes with 24 packs and it has uh, 16 cards per pack, giving you a total of like 384 cards or somewhere around there total in this box of cards. And these ones you can play with too. And there's a chance of getting some rare cards like showcase cards, which we happen to get in our pre-release kit. So if you wanna go back and watch that video, I encourage you to do it. So this is our third and final video, at least for now. We are gonna make a video on some of the accessories coming up because we ordered a couple of them. So I wanna show those off whenever they get here. They were supposed to get here on, you know, within a day or two of release day, which was last week. Um, but, you know, they didn't show up and they still haven't even shipped yet. So I don't know what's going on. I might end up having to cancel that order. So we'll see. But at some point on, on this channel, I will talk about some of the accessories for this set because yeah we're going all in on this no, not all all in we didn't buy a case or anything we just got a box each i got a box and blue got a box and then also there's a chance we might get a third box um, we're going to be selling our ghost rider collection soon and i think uh, we're going to try to get mostly cash for it but if they offer some of it in store credit we might use that store credit if they have star wars cards so you might see us get a third box at some point point. Um, and if we do maybe we'll open that up on our uh, whatnot account and stuff so yeah, uh, we had two boxes. One was going to be open on whatnot, but Blue opened it. And I was sitting there thinking, no, wait, we have it. It's still here. And I'm like, no, he opened it. So yeah. So anyway, so here's our box. And in each box, oops, you get, like I said, 24 packs. And you get three characters um, on the packs. So we're going to separate these. And we're going to do them by character. So we got Thrawn. We got Leia and Chewie. So we're going to just do this for a second until I make three piles. All right. And then we'll move Chewie down here so you can see him. Look at that. Cool artwork on that Chewie. And then Thrawn and Leia here. So boom, boom, boom. Okay. And then we got more. So let's go ahead and put all these down. Uh, oops. There we go. I was going to say one of these, one of these Leia is going to be a double Leia at some point. Okay. So there are our 24 packs, three packs of eight. So let's start with Leia. Ladies first. Um, and uh, yeah, great character. I've always been a fan of Leia. Um, I like her spirit, her attitude. Um, I feel like that's one of those characters. If she came out nowadays, people would be like, oh, she's too this or too that. But to me, I think she's awesome. She's just a great character. Someone who's very independent, you know, despite having like a kind of a privileged upbringing, um, but always, you know, felt like um, a person of the people, much like her mother, Padme. So yeah, really cool character though. But I like her a lot. And uh, it's cool to see that she's like on the packs kind of front and center. And hey, look, first pack, we got a hyperspace of Chewie as a leader. Now I'll be honest with you, this artwork, I'm not a big fan of. Um, it's not terrible. I mean, that's a cool Han shot in the back there. But compared to like this card, which we got in the two-player starter deck thing that we opened, the, I like that art. I just prefer it more. And I'm not trying to put down the artist here. You know, I, I'm a struggling artist myself. I try to draw without visual memory. It's hard for me to do sometimes. So I'm trying to learn new styles. I know Purple's exploring a bunch of new stuff, stuff I don't typically draw. He's doing more landscapes and other things that I've never really got into before. Um, I like drawing people, and he's kind of, you know, branching out some. So we struggle with art, so I get it. Art's subjective, though, and I'm here to give my opinion. And for me, it's a neat drawing. I love the colors on it, but I just, I don't know, the face doesn't really do it for me. But he looks, he looks like he's in battle mode, that's for sure. So I'm going to put that over here. I'm going to make a hyperspace kind of stack um, and then I'll make a leader stack too but this is our base card every pack is going to have one leader and one base card so that way no matter what if you just go out and buy like six or seven packs you're going to get a leader in there and a base to start building your deck with which is really cool and then you get a bunch of other cards 
to start building your deck with. So we have some unit cards, event cards. There's units, ground, and unit space. And then there's humans and vehicles um, in both categories, I believe. Um, not any human space cards, I don't think. Uh, but then there's also event cards and upgrade cards. So those are like the four main cards you'll get outside of base cards and leaders. Um, and then they'll say their commonality, their rarity, all that stuff. But we're going to kind of go through these as fast as we can. I still want to show off some of the art. I don't like flying through these things. But hey, so here we go. So regular card with a border around it. And then we have a hyperspace. The regular cards are numbered up to 252. That's like the base set of these cards, which Blue is trying to make a full base set of and then use the extra cards we get to make his, his deck and stuff. So um, the hyperspace ones, though, are the same card, same artwork a lot of times, but they're numbered past 252. So if you're a completionist and you want all 900 plus cards in the series, you're going to be trying to hunt down all of the variants of this in foil and non-foil. It's, uh, it's going to be a lot of work, so good luck. Um, all right, so we're going to put our, our um, hyperspace up there. Look at this, Power of the Dark Side. That's an uncommon card. That's really cool looking. General Dodonna. Bib Fortuna. Chimera. Look at that. That's a rare. Capital Ship. Ooh, that's nice. I'm going to set that to the side, actually. And then every... Oh, the Ghost in Foil. So I'm a Rebels guy, and I want to make a Rebels deck, and now I can with uh, the addition of a ghost ship, and it's in foil. So I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, for me personally, just put it in a little sleeve. I don't need a top loader for that one, um, but I'm going to just keep it to the side there. So, But every pack, the last card is going to be a foil card. Every pack. The other chance of hits in your pack is where you find the uncommons and the rares. You could get a legendary card there. So... Yeah, we'll see if we get any legendaries tonight. Whoa, so look at this. Han Solo. That's really cool. Leader card. I don't know if we have this one. Card number 17. Yeah, it's cool. So I'll put them over here. All right. Okay. And then we got our Catacombs of Kadera for our base. All right, let's start loading this up. Event card. Skiff for the unit. Vigilant Honor. Jetta Agitator. Um, I like this one. This guy, he's just like screaming <laughs> while this little Greedo dude is just sitting there. So that's just kind of funny looking. Caught my eye. It's, I'm like, is he just yelling? Like just <laughs> um, bad customer service there. Uh, confiscate. Surprise. Cell Block Guard. That's cool looking. Hey, look at that. Another Hyperspace Jawa Scavenger. And I don't know, I don't know if hyperspaces are one a pack or one every two packs, or I don't know the rarity of these. Fifth Brother, Yoda, Outmaneuver, that's a cool one. So like I said, usually around in here in these cards, you'll, you'll find your legendary if you get a legendary. And I think there's, I don't know how many are per box. I think they go anywhere from like three to like five or six. Um, so if you got a really good box, you might get six legendaries. Otherwise, you might just get, you know, two or three. Uh, Spark of Rebellion, awesome. That's the name of the set, so that's great. And Vanquish is our foil, so I'm going to put that over there. Uh, cool. All right. Moving on. Let's go, Leia. You've been good to us so far. We got. I love that uh, foil ghost. That's really cool. Um, whoa, okay. Grand Admiral Thrawn. Very nice. As a Rebels fan, as a, and as a Zahn, Timothy Zahn fan, too. Um, that Hair of the Empire stuff is really cool. Uh, so that's really neat. I like that one. All right, we're going to keep him over there. Echo Base on Hoth is our base card. And then, like I said, I'm going to see if I can actually make this video shorter than my pre-release kit video. <laughs> I doubt it, though, because we're already 10 minutes in and we're only like three packs in. So, yeah, buckle in because I'm probably going to talk a lot. Um, but I'm going to go through these, try to go through them a little quicker. I want to show off the art a little bit. But I might not talk over every card. Oh, that's cool. Devotion. Is that toilet paper? No, that's just wind and stuff. That's cool, though. It looks nice. I like that style. Uh, Liana Anatolovich is the artist. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. Uh, your art's beautiful. Actually, that's a great image. Um, Bamboozled. That's cool. Attack Pattern. So we got a rare here for a cause I believe in. That's really great. That's Andor, right? 
Um, that's cool. And then outmaneuver as a foil. Cool. So I'll put that there, and then we'll put that in that set. Cool. All right. Let's go, let's go. Sweet. You know what we might do? We'll see. If, if this runs long, maybe I'll split this into three videos. And you know what? No, we'll make a long video. Screw it. I was like saying, let's do the Leia packs, the Chewy packs, and the Thrawn packs. But no, let's just, we'll just make a long video. I don't make a lot of long videos anymore. So let's do it. So we got Leia there. Um, so that's cool. Leia in a Leia pack. That's awesome. It's a great art. I like that art of her. That's really cool. Um, sweet. Chopper base. Cool. Alliance X-Wing, Repair, First Legion Snow. Oh, that's different than the other Snow Trooper I saw. I like the other one I saw, the one that was in the two-player pack. That was really cool. Uh, Vanguard, Cloud City, Outer Rim. Oh, this one, this Snow Trooper. Look at that. I love that art. Eric Lee. Yeah, really beautiful. It's, a, it's an intense-looking Snow Trooper. Um, oh, cool look, Mandalorian, Amelie Hut. That's nice. Ooh, there's our hyperspace cyber, uh, super laser technician. Uh, TIE Advance. Uh, Distant Patroller. Heroic Sacrifice. Oh, that's cool. With K2SO. Ooh, I wonder if Blue has that one. I'm going to put that aside for Blue. Whoa, General Krell. Hey, this guy's from, uh, from Clone Wars, I think. Um, yeah, that's. I think this is the right guy. There was a... In, he, there was a, a a Jedi general in Clone Wars that actually turned kind of evil, and he was just killing clones, using them to battle each other or something. And there was it's this really neat story actually. And so it was like two clone sides that were fighting each other that really couldn't see each other, and they were told that the other side was bad or something like that. Or I can't I can't remember the full full story, but it was something like that where he was like lying to them, um, to getting them to kill each other or something. So. That's cool. He's a rare, and I got a foil of him, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put him aside. That's cool looking. I think that's the guy I'm thinking of, Krell. Let me know if I'm wrong. If I got the episode wrong, let me know. But I think that's a Clone Wars episode. Okay, so we got Director Krennic. We got Dagobah Swamp. Shazam. Restored Ark. Yep. Jan Ursa. Battlefield Marine. Yes, yes, yes. Make an opening. Oh, there's uh, Bay's Malbus. Or Maze Bal... No, it's Bay's Malbus, I think. <laughs> uh, Legion Stow Trooper. Droid. Bounty Hunter Crew. Restock. Hey, Rebels. All right, I'm going to put him aside. That's Ezra. That'll go good with the chopper that we got earlier. So I'll put him over there. Colonel Yularen. Whoa, look. Force Choke in hyperspace. Oh, that's great. I dig that. Let's put that aside, too. Um, actually, you know what? I'll just put that in my hyperspaces. That's cool. Because all those are going to get put probably in sleeves or something. Uh, U-Wing is a rare. That's cool looking. And Rebel Pathfinder in foil. All right. Sweet. Yeah, I, I like these cards. They're cool looking. I can't wait to play. That's what I'm most excited for. Uh, Grand Moff Tarkin. So, so far, I don't think we've gotten a single duplicate leader card for this box. I think a lot of these... Blue might have gotten in his box, I'm going to assume. But, yeah, but at least for us. Oh, wow, chopper base. Oh, it was flipped over on this side. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, the bases on the other side have token upgrades on all the bases. So that's just cool that the token side was facing us and not the base card. Um, all right, so let's go. Imperial Interceptor. Yeah, there's Hera and Sabine. And then, again, I think this is a, a from Rebels. On Lethal, they had these gecko eyes on the on the walkers, which is cool. From the academy that they were training at, they were training like stormtroopers at. Um, sweet frontier waylay takedown. No good to me dead. Oh, that's Han Solo and Carbonite. Check that out. Yeah, sorry, I'm cutting the top of the cards off there. Sorry, pardon, pardon me on that one. Ninety seventh Legion. That's cool. Han Solo, rare, and Reinforcement Walker. Cool. So, all right, two packs left for Leia. Let's do it. So we got Jyn Erso. And Echo Base as a hyperspace. Cool. 
that means the art on the back is hyperspace too. Sweet. So we'll put that in our hyperspace pile. Skiff, Pursuer. I like the scout bikes though. Those are cool. And the skiff is from uh, Return of the Jedi from out in the end of the, or the beginning of the movie when they're fighting Boba Fett and Jabba and stuff. That's cool. Ardent Sympathizer. So this, I think, is also from Rebels because that's, I think that's Ezra um, in that helmet there. So that's really cool. Nice nod to that episode. Uh, Yoda, great card. Regional Sympathizers. Corellian Fighter. Or Freighter, sorry. Jawa Scavenger. Gamorrean Bamboozle. Reinforcement Walkers. Power Failure. Ooh, what? Oh, a legendary black one. <laughs> okay. Oh, because this is, um, this is, uh, whatchamacallit? Um, it's a tie, I mean, not a tie fighter, an X Wing, but it's the one from the, the, the newer series, like the newer trilogy, um, that like Poe Dameron and stuff fly. That's cool. I, uh, well, it's a legendary, so I'm gonna, oh, and look, we got that in foil. Hey, Eric Lee, I got your card in foil, man. Now we need to get it in a hyperspace. Um, that would be awesome too. Um, I'm actually going to put... I like the art on this, so I'm just going to put that aside there. But I I'm, I don't know what this is. Uh, it's a legendary, and it's our first one. So I'm going to I'm gonna put it over here. Our first one in this box. I've, actually, I didn't even think to look in our the, when we did the other packs and stuff if we got any legendaries in there. So if I missed them, hopefully you commented on those videos and let me know. Um, oh, and Director Krennic. Okay, so he's a repeat. Dagobah. All right, so we can probably start speeding up a little bit. I want to show off, still show off some of the artwork, but I just don't want to linger on them too long. And because uh, there's, we got so many, we still got 16 packs left after this. So uh, yeah, I want to, I want to get through some of these and not, you know, use use up your whole entire day watching this video. Um, so yeah, that's cool though. I like that snow trooper. Oh, Bosk, that's cool too. He's just an uncommon, but still. Not just, but yeah, that's cool. Um, hard point heavy blaster, sneak attack rare, and seventh fleet defender as our awesome. Oh, sorry, uh, foil card. All right, so let's go to Thrawn. Let's switch over to the bad guys and go through this real quick. And yeah, we'll. I'll try to speed up now that we got a rhythm down. Let's try to speed up a little bit. So we got Chewbacca again, regular. Um, we got Kestro City. Put that here. And then a lot of these cards like are going to be duplicates, triplicates, quadruplicates. Uh, you know, there's going to be a ton of that. So I'll just kind of show them so you can see them. And then any major cards I'll try to stop on. Or if it's a card I just catches my eye or I haven't, I don't think I've seen before or whatever. Um, oh, hey, so there's that Chewbacca that with the different art on it. That's really cool. I like that drawing a lot. That's the one that's actually on the pack. So, yeah, very cool. I'm going to tuck that aside, actually. Uh, prepare for takeoff, power failure, it binds all things, and hey, we got the other snow trooper uh, in, uh, this one's by Milos uh, Slavkovic, Slavkovic. Uh, so yeah, Milos, cool card, um, I'm a little bit more fond of the Eric one, but I, I like, the snow troopers look cool, so um, very cool design on those, uh, originally from the movies, obviously, but I like when people draw them and stuff. They look cool. Leia Organa. Catacombs of Kadera and Hyperspace. I'll put that up there. So more Wampas. Yep. So you're seeing these all now. Steadfast Battalion. Cargo Juggernaut. Look at that one. It's like a neon green mining guild TIE fighter. That's cool looking. Lethal Insurgent. That's cool. That's basically a Rebels card. Anything on Lethal. That's, uh, that's awesome. My favorite Star Wars planet is Kamino, but I, uh, which is the cloning planet, but I really do like Lethal too. Uh, Rebels, it just you, you spend so much time on that planet with those characters that you just kind of get attached to it. And that's the thing about Star Wars, a lot of the planets, you're there briefly and then you move on. So it, it's cool that they you know, kind of lingered in that, on that show. Whoa, look, Mace Windu, legendary hyperspace. Holy cow. Oops, there we go. Dude, we got to put this in a sleeve. Mace Windu as a legendary? Yeah. Done. Uh, Jetta City. 
And then our Gorilla Attack Pod is also a hyperspace foil. That's cool. But Jetta City. Oh, why well, we got a base card at the end? Oh, it's a, not even a two-sided base card. That's cool. It's a rare base. Oh, interesting. All right. So moving along. I think my phone's going to be dying soon. One of them or both of them. So let's try to speed this along uh, so we don't have to do another major cut like we had to do in a previous video. Um, all right. So going to go through. I'm just going to show these off. So you can see them. Anything major will stop on, obviously. But yeah, look at that. Oh, man. A lot of cool cards in this set, I gotta say. And I, I'm digging the art on not every card, but the ships are really well done. They, whoever draws these ships are fantastic. I've never been really good at vehicles and stuff. Whoa, look at this. A rare Emperor's Royal Guard. Nice. And then a Rebel Pathfinder in also hyperspace. So cool. Um, I might put that aside. I like the Emperor Guards. They look cool. All right. Keeping along. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, IG-88 as our leader. Cool. And then Command Center is our base. And then boom, boom. Actually, I'm going to move this up. And we'll start a new pack after this. All right. Rogue Operative. Volunteer Soldier. Swoop Racer. I love speeder bikes. Any kind of speeder bike. Oh, there's a skiff in uh, the hyperspace. Blizzard Assault. Sabine Wren. Oh, I'm going to put that up. Oh, that's going to go with my Rebels characters. Cool. Um, Entrenched. You're my only hope. That's a cool one. That's a rare. I might keep that aside too. Oh, and there's another uh, Rebels, the, that episode reference. So cool. All right, all right. Getting down. We got four packs left with uh, our boy Thrawn here. So we got Boba Fett. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I wonder if we can make a Mandalorian deck. I don't know if there's enough characters for that. Uh, Lethal, Capital City. Um, all right, boom. Boom. Got it. Boom. Boom. Oh, look, we got it. Eric Lee, dude, we're all over your art on this one, dude. This is fantastic. Snow Trooper, Lieutenant with the hyperspace you know what i'm gonna bag it man can we rainbow this card that'd be amazing right that's cool so sweet we got the base card we got the foil and uh yeah the base foil and the hyperspace so now we just need the, the hyperspace foil that's awesome though i love that art i really do eric i'm, I'm I, that image jumped out at me when i was going through these cards uh, a little bit ago so admiral Ozzo. Smuggling compartment, that's our hyperspace. Hey, another chopper, that's cool. So I'll put them here. And then our Cantina Braggart for our foil. All right, three packs left. Hey, Hera, okay. So dude, we might have all the leaders now. I think there's like 20 leaders or 18 or 19 in total. So that's cool. We might actually have them all now. Um, Catacombs of Kadera for our base. Honor Guard, boom, boom. Boom, here we go. Resilient. Cell block guard, ISB agent. Oh, look at that. Wampa. I gotta say, like, you know, I like, I mean, I don't the borders don't bother me that much, but seeing them without them really pops. Although the boxes, I feel like they could shrink the boxes and show more artwork, show more of the cave or something. But I think that you need a uniform look, and sometimes that affects, you know, the art on the cards, I guess. But I don't know. To me, it's uh Little my, minor criticism, and that's just a personal preference of mine. But Admiral Piet, Fighters for Freedom, that's cool. Devotion, Jedi lightsaber, T tactical advantage, and hyperspace foil. Cool. All right, two packs left. Let's do it. Sweet. All right, Grand Moff Tarkin. I think we might have already got him. Dagobah in the hyperspace. We might have already got that too. But. Um, Awesome. Hera Academy. I do like seeing the, uh, oh, look at that Luke. That's cool looking on the skiff um, or on the, on the ship of, uh, yeah, that's cool with uh, Jabba and stuff. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, I like seeing the rebel characters. Anyone from the rebel universe is just cool to see in these cards for me um, because uh, 
Although I had watched the movies pretty early on after the original trilogy, after um, my aneurysm, Rebels really got me full into Star Wars, like for me personally. Um, so yeah. Oh, Gideon Hask. Look at that. He's cool looking. I like that art too. Amelie Hutt. She's another good artist. I've seen her name on a couple cards that I've liked. So yeah, there we go. And then Echo Base Defender. Oh, that's cool. Rebel card and foil. Awesome. Yeah, the foils are nice. I like that you get one in every pack just for fun, you know. Um, I like that. All right. All right, Leia. Another hyperspace base card. That's cool. Um, Cloud City. Sweet. Put that over there. Rebel. Make an opening. That's cool. Yeah, I think we looked at that card earlier. Um, Cantina Braggart, which we got in foil. Boom. Death Trooper. Awesome. All right. Borgia Pandado did the art on that one. I like that Death Trooper. Bounty Hunter Crew. Restock. Swoop Racer. Gamorian Guards in the hyperspace. Force Choke. Tie Advance. Oh, Takedown in the uh, hyperspace. Nice. Um, Tarkin Town. Look at this. That's awesome. Another base, non-two-sided. And seasoned Shore Trooper in foil. All right, last but not least, Chewbacca card packs. Okay, sorry for the quick cut. I had to clean up some of the cards and everything. So let's get back into these and open up these last eight packs. Told you this was gonna be a long one, but that's okay. Like I said, everyone's not it's good for me to make a long video. I know I naturally rail against it, but it feels good to kind of go on and talk about Star Wars this long. All right, so we got Jin Erso as our leader. We got Administrator's Tower for our base. And then again, we're going to try to keep going with the speed, but still showing off the artwork a little bit. I don't want to go so fast to where you can't see this stuff. Mission Briefing. Because I, I dig the art, but I also want you to make up your own mind. Because I know some people out there weren't digging the art on this or were very critical of it. And, uh, and I get that. Some of these look very cartoony. Some of them don't. They obviously have different artists. And... For me, it, when it comes to different artists working on trading cards and stuff and comic books, I can never make a blanket statement that I don't like a, a general style because everyone brings their own style. Like Eric Lee, so far, is one of my favorites, and Amelie Hutt. So far, they're two of my favorite artists that I've seen consistently on these. But like uh, here, we have Francois Kennels, who's doing some of the ships and vehicles. I cannot do vehicles and things like that, so this is really cool to see Francois' art as well. So... uh yeah, a lot of cool, a lot of cool artists on this, I feel. And seeing people's like takes on Star Wars characters is always fun to me. That's why sometimes I flip through the comics. I don't always read them, but sometimes I just like flipping them through and seeing like how artists interpret certain characters and stuff, um, especially like Vader, how they play with the helmet and things like that. Do they do the red eyes, not the red eyes? You know, there's so much that you could do that people have fun with. All right. The ghost again. Awesome. And hey, there's a non-foil General Krell, so that's cool. I'm going to put him aside too because, oh, and there's our Gamorrean Guard. That's our foil. Um, because, yeah, it, it's a, a Rebels character. Well, actually, he's a Clone Wars character. Um, but uh, I don't know. I don't remember if I saw him. He might be in the binder. I have no idea. To be honest, I didn't flip through in detail, but um, I'll put him aside just in case because he's cool looking. All right, so we got another Sabine Wren. And chances are, like, it looks like if you get a full box, you're probably going to get most of the leaders, maybe not all of them, but most of them, because there's 24 packs in a box. You're going to get one leader a pack. And like I said, I think there's only like 20 or so, maybe a little less, 19 or 18 leaders in the whole set in general. Um, but it seems like Vader and Luke, at least I haven't seen them in this box or other box, but we got them in the two player one. So maybe that's the only way to get those characters. I don't know. So hey, uh, Hoth was our base. And we got Snowspeeder, Resilient. Um, Death, uh, Death Star Stormtrooper. But yeah, so I don't know. Uh, but it looks like uh, we may actually, now that we have that Vader and that, um, and I think Han Solo in this box, there's a chance we might have all the leaders now. So that's cool. And some of them in, in the hyperspaces too. And we got that showcase of Grand Inquisitor, which is really cool. Hey, so Zeb, all right, I'm going to tuck him aside. I'm going to see if we can build the Rebels crew. Um, that would be really awesome. Oh, Protector. That's probably something Blue's going to like because it has this guy Cheerwit on there. All right. Whoa. Hey, Lando. Cool. That's awesome. I don't know if we have Lando. 
I'm going to put him aside too. Awesome. And then we got the U-Wing reinforcement. All right. So, yeah, we've been... The packs have been pretty good to us, but I think we've only gotten like one legendary so far. So, um, or maybe two. Maybe I didn't notice the other one. But I think you're supposed to get about two or, or three on average a box. If you have a really good box, you could get like five or six, like I said earlier. So, um, I think I heard a guy on his video go, oh my God, six legendaries in one box. So, yeah, so it's possible, I guess. So, Chewbacca, Command Center. And then, let's get to, boom. Here's the guy yelling, bad customer service. Uh, all right, Chuggernaut. Boom. Awesome. Cool. And as far as the movies go, like I know I talked about the original trilogy, but which I love, obviously. I love the original Star Wars movies. I like Rogue One and Rebels, so this is a perfect set for me in blue. Um, but then also, uh, like as far as the prequels, I really like the, the third one. I like parts of uh, Attack of the Clones. My favorite is the Obi-Wan fight with Django, and I love Kamino. That whole planet is my favorite planet, and it was really cool to see them go back to that planet during the Bad Batch uh, series, I think, one finale. Um, really cool. I love Kamino a lot. Really awesome uh, looking. It's just a planet covered in water, and it's raining all the time. It's like, it's so miserable, <laughs> but it's a perfect place to stash a clone army um, for sure. So Bosk. So I like Kamino. But in the prequels, I really just like parts of Attack of the Clones. I like all the Clone Wars cartoons and Bad Batch and all that stuff. And uh, and then I like um, the, you know, I guess the third one, Revenge of the Sith. I'm, I'm, I like that one enough to where I'll, I've rewatched it more than once. But Phantom Menace, I think I've only seen one time, maybe two times. Um, and if I watched it a second time, it was just to see that Darth Maul fight at the end with Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon. So, yeah. Whoa, look at this. A le There's our legendary second one. Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight. Uh, let's see what our foil is. Oh, we got another ATST foil. All right, I'm going to put that there. But I'm definitely going to put this in a sleeve. Um, I don't know if I'm going to top load any of these, but I'll at least put it in a sleeve uh, and, and keep it from getting more fingerprints on it. So that's cool, though. Yeah, that's just a neat looking Luke Skywalker, man. Awesome. All right, so we got five packs left. Let's do it. All right. Boom. Throwing that on the floor. I'll pick it up later. IG-88. Uh, all right. We got another one of him. Catacombs of Kadera. We got another one of those from Jetta. All right. A-Wing. Boom. 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 Awesome. But yeah, so the Clone, but the clone Wars is in them. And I like the original Clone Wars cartoon, all the little short films by the Samurai Jack uh, team. Like, that was really good, too. Um, but I like the, that Clone Wars era is really neat to me. I think they did a really good job expanding on that. And to me, making it the best part of the prequels. I'm not a huge fan of those prequels. Like I said, I am critical of the first one, definitely. The second one, I like parts of it. The third one, overall, I kind of accept it. And I like the turn of Anakin in that one. They did a good job there. And that final battle is good and hard to watch, too. Um, but uh, But there's some cheese in it, too, of course, that I didn't like. But overall, I, I kind of accept that movie and like it. But uh, those prequels gave us Clone Wars, the cartoons and all the, all the versions of them and all those stories. And I love all those characters. So for me, I'm, I'm into those. The new ones, though, I don't really have a lot to say about. I liked Force Awakens when it first came out. It, I was like, oh, I played it safe. But you kind of got to, after the prequels, you got to play it a little safe and do the, you know, repeat stuff. But then once they, you know, ended with Han and, you know, and how that ended and, I was kind of like, oh, well, now some of these characters aren't going to get to see each other, and maybe there's a tragedy in that. Um, and I get that. You, you don't always get a chance to say goodbye to someone. So I'm like, all right, let's see where they go. But then the second, and or, you know, episode eight and nine just didn't do it for me. Just, they didn't do it. I didn't love them. Uh, I mean, I didn't hate them. I'm not like an outright hater of those movies, but I just, I, I haven't watched them again. I haven't, I think I've only seen them the one time. Um, Underworld Thug, all right, in our hyperspace. Um, prepare for takeoff. Boom. Nice, for Surrender. Oh, look at that, the 97th Legion in hyperspace. That's cool. Well, what's this? Redemption. That's a cool-looking card. It's a rare. I'm still going to tuck it aside. I don't know if I've seen that one yet, so we'll just. I'm not going to sleeve it, but I'll just put it aside. Um, and our Rogue Operative is our foil. All right. So, yeah, just in case you're wondering, because I know I've done reviews of Star Wars stuff before, but I deleted a lot of them from the channel. Um just for various reasons. I actually don't even remember all the reasons, but 
If you want my opinions, I uh, love the original trilogy. We'll keep it simple. The prequels, 50-50 on, kind of. And then the new ones, not really. Um, saw a lot of potential there, but I thought it was kind of squandered. Um, and I would have loved to seen Finn be a stormtrooper that became a Jedi. That would have been cool, too. But they didn't do that either. So we got Leia. And this is the hyperspace version. So same artwork as the regular one. Just hyperspace. So that's cool. Put her over there with the hyperspaces. Chopper. Base. And then boom. Nice. But yeah, I really just didn't... Uh, I, liked it, I liked most of the characters enough in Episode 7. But then from there on, I, I just kind of... I lost interest in all the characters in Episodes 8 and 9. Which is a shame because, you know, I saw a lot of potential there. Uh, Alright, there's our snapshot reflexes. Asteroid Sanctuary. Hey, Eric Lee again with that Lieutenant, Snow Trooper Lieutenant. i got to look for more art of his in this set. I mean, his art stands out, so I've been trying to look for it. But, um, yeah, I just, he's, uh, his, that's, I don't know, that Snow Trooper just looks so cool. Look at this, Benthic Two Tubes. I like that. That's a cool looking card. It's an uncommon. Uh, General Veer is uncommon. Inferno Four uncommon. Whoa, legendary Boba Fett. Boba Fett, Boba Fett, where? <laughs> oh, that's cool. We got, I got a, so I think that's our third legendary. That's cool. All right, I'll put that over here with the others. And then Ruthless Raider in foil, an uncommon in foil. Last three packs. Let's do it. Phones are dying. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> let's, let's keep going. Um, oh, Cassie and Andor. Our leader. Well, maybe maybe we don't have all the leaders. Maybe he's the last one we were missing. Because we are missing a couple. I think I, the first two or three pages in our booklet uh, that Blue has, has leaders in it. And I think the first two pages. And um, there was some gaps. So, But I don't remember seeing Andor in there. That's cool. I like that show. Andor was a cool show. As far as the Disney Plus shows go, I liked Andor. I liked some of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, I liked uh, The Mandalorian Season 1 and 2. I definitely did not like Boba Fett. Book of Boba Fett, well, I did not like. Um, Ahsoka, though, I also liked. Not all of it, but I liked you know, like three-fourths of it. I thought it was okay. Um, had some Rebels characters in it, so I liked that as well. I like seeing those characters in, in live action. That was neat. Um, okay, Ceremony, Trooper, Droid, Fighter, Strike. Nice, awesome. So, yeah, let me know. Do you have any favorite... What are your favorite Star Wars movies? I'm sure that's the original trilogy. But um, do you like any of the other ones like as well? Like, you know, Blue's Rogue One is like a, he loves, Blue loves that one. I like it too, but I just, um, he really liked that movie when he saw it. So, uh, so yeah, so he, like I said, he's going to try to build his deck to be around those characters. Hey, look, another Rebels character. We might have, did we get the whole team? I don't know. We'll look at the end. We'll do a recap, hopefully before the phones uh, die. Um, oh, look at this, Energy Conversion Lab. That's cool. It's another one of those one-sided bases. Okay. And then Wilderness Fighter in foil. Cool. Another base. Awesome. Two packs, two packs. Let's see what we got. Oh, hey, look. So there's the Grand Inquisitor in regular. Very cool. Awesome. So we did a comparison before. Oh, no, that's not regular. That's hyperspace. Holy cow. That's the hyperspace one. So I think we have the standard now and the hyperspace and the showcase one. That's freaking awesome. All right. I'm down for that. Uh, Kestro City. Boom. Do they make foil versions of the leaders too? Like, could you get a foil leader in your pack? I wonder. I'm guessing you could. And um, we did with the showcase. So, um, all right. Gorilla Attack Pod. V Wing. Vanquish. Tank. All right. Defender. Guardian of the Wills. That's cool. TIE Fighter. LN. Boom. So, yeah, let me know down below if you're, uh, which Star Wars stuff you're a fan of the outside of the original trilogy. Like, is there anything outside of that that you like? Do you read the novels? Like, did you read the Timothy Zahn stuff? Hair of the Empire? Any of those? Um, Shadows of the Empire? That's a really good one with, uh, um, oh, what's the Prince Seesaw or something? Sizer? Um, that's, that was a cool book too. Uh, I think that was, uh, 
Steve Perry, I think, who did that one, maybe. Uh, or correct me if I'm, I'm wrong on that one. Whoa, K2SO. Cool, that's a great one. Cassian's counterpart, rare card. So I'll put them with, over here with the others. And then Traitorous. That's a cool image. Nice. All right. And then last pack. Will we have last pack magic? I don't know, but we've, we've this is a pretty decent box, I feel. We got our three legendaries, um, so that's pretty standard. So nothing that jumped out in this box, no showcase or anything like that, but still a lot of cool cards in here. And I think a lot of new ones for us, so that's a good thing for us um, in our, our base collection that Blue's making. So yeah, so then we got our base and our leader, Sabine, and then boom, boom. All right. And if I passed a card that was a legendary or something that I didn't notice, you know, you guys can let me know in the comments. Say, hey, dummy, <laughs> here's a timestamp. Uh, you, you missed this really cool card. Um, so look at this artwork, though. I like that with the Mandos. And it has Sabine holding the Darksaber. That's really cool. Rallying Cry. That's a, that was a good episode, too. With her on, I think that was the one where they're on Mandalore. Um, so, yeah, perfect. Forces with me. Out and Maneuver. Search your feelings. Oh, look at that. That's Luke with, and that's when he has the nightmare in Dagobah where he sees his self in Vader's helmet. That's awesome. That's a rare. Search your deck for a card and draw it, then shuffle your deck. Hey, that's a good card. So if you know you have like a, a, a killer card that would help you win the match and you draw this, boom, you play that, pull that card out and match over. I love it. And then we got General Veers in the foil. All right. So leader-wise, we got a pretty good amount of them. Oh, these are our hyperspaces. So let's go through hyperspace first. Yeah, we had some cool hyperspaces in here. I don't think this is all of them. I think I, I kind of mixed and matched a bunch. So we got a couple bases, a couple unit characters, upgrades. So just cool to see some things in, in the hyperspace. Force choke. That's just really cool. Yeah, and then another leader with Chewbacca. But then we had um, these leaders, which we get a lot of Sabines. I think we got a couple Sabines. Only one Cassian and IG-88. So another uh, Sabine, Leia, Hera, another IG-88. A couple Krennics, a couple Chewbaccas, a couple Jyn Ursos. Um, so yeah, Admiral Thrawn, though. That's cool. And Han Solo. I think he's new. I don't know if we have this one. I'll have to look. But yeah. Really, really cool. Um, fun, fun box that one was. And then here's some of the cards I just liked. So Search Your Feelings. David Nash did the art on that one. K2SO here. Really cool by Ross Taylor. So um, I love, I'm going to start making a, a pile here for the Rebels characters. So we got Redemption, Lando, Zeb, General Krell, Gideon, You're My Only Hope, Sabine, Emperor's Guard, Chewbacca, Ezra, uh, General Krell and Foil, Heroic Sacrifice, K2SO, Chimera. We got the Ghost. Put that there. Um, yeah, black one. This is neat. That's, that's a legendary also. So, so yeah, we have a legendary. Legendary Mace. I love that we got the Hyperspace and the Foil of Eric's card here. That's really cool. For me, at least, I like the art. So, um, Legendary Luke. and let, So we got four legendaries in this box. We got the, the black one, <laughs> as they call it. Um, the the, the X-Wing from the newer movies. We got the Mace Windu in hyperspace. And we got Boba Fett and Luke. So very, very cool. Four legendaries. We got four members of our Rebels team. I think we got Chopper in the other one, and then maybe there's a Hera, so we'll try to look and complete that. Maybe it's in our binder. I have no idea. We'll look. We got the Ghost and Foil, which is really cool. And then, like I said, two of Eric's cards here, and we'll have to see what other versions of this we have. Um, hopefully, we have you know, the Foil in hyperspace, too. I don't know. We'll, we'll double-check what we got in the other packs and boxes. And then, yeah, and then we got some nice little hits here that I just don't recognize or that the art just stood out to me. So thank you so much for watching the show. I appreciate it. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for making it through this long video. And we'll have more cards at some point soon. More Moon Knight content definitely coming very soon. And then Halo stuff in about a month from now. So I'm sorry this month wasn't a very heavy upload month for me. 
I know February was. We uploaded like 25 videos out of a 29 month, you know, uh, 29 day month. Uh, so pretty good, almost a video a day. And uh, so I thought I was getting back in the swing of things. And then we got sick and then the medicine situation we're going through. So, you know, this has been a bad month, but it's a good month for recovery. So that's what we're trying to do. So thanks for bearing with me and we'll have more content to you very soon. Thanks so much. See you in the future. May the force be with you. Peace.